In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make Evade in Roblox Studio. So basically, Evade is sort of like, I'm going to show you now what we're going to do. It has a bit more features, this I'm going to show you basically what it is for now. Basically, you're going to have like a character like this, which is chasing you around, trying to get you. Um, as you can see, it's pretty fun. Um, I'm, this is just the basic one, I'm going to teach you more about how to do it, but basically just watch the video and you'll know how. So, before I start, I want you to watch the whole video, make sure you watch everything, because if you don't, you might mess something up and it will not work, and, you know, that's going to be annoying for you. So, the first thing that we want to do, I'm going to just create a new um, workspace. You don't have to do it, it's optional, you can put it on your current one. And up here in the top left, we want to put next bot v1.4. Search for that. Uh, oh, it needs to be in uh, models. And this is it's this one here. So you can click on this and insert it into your game. So right now it's just going to look like this. I'm going to teach you how to customize this. So what we want to do is it's going to have made this folder here, and we need to remove these and put these into their right places. So this first one says lighting. We want to go inside here, get both of these, and click this and drag these into the lighting section so those are done now we can delete that next is server storage so we want to grab this and put it in the server storage section nice next is the starter gui we want to just grab this and put it down here in starter gui do that and bots finally we just want to take this out of bots and put it into our workspace like this now options and credits we don't need to fiddle with that so at this point we've set up everything, now we just need to start uh, customizing the bot. So the first one that we're going to do is go to the left here and you want to find an image to start. Now this image can be anything you want to, I'm going to go and find um, I have this Rick Astley one. So what I want to do is right click on this and I need to copy the asset ID. Once I've copied the asset ID, I can go over here into uh, the Explorer and I can go onto this where it says update v.1 and I can go down here to humanoid root part and I go down to image GUI and image ID. So now I've clicked on that, I can scroll down and under here it'll say image and it should have a little thing here so we can change these numbers here to the right numbers and once I hit enter, cool, you can see that we now have Rick Astley as our uh, scary thing for now. The next thing we want to do is go over here and go to audio and find an audio that you want of um, something a bit scary. So I'm going to put scary. I'm going to listen to a few here. This is good. It's pretty scary. So again, I want to right click on here and copy the asset ID. Now I want to go up to sound ID. And again, I need to change this from zero to this. So this is basically the sound it makes when it comes past you, so it can be pretty scary. So, okay, so now this is the bot setup, and I'm going to show you how it works quickly. It's probably going to kill, it's killed me straight away. And you can see it's coming back. And it's got me and it made the sound. So that's the bot setup. Now I'm going to show you how to set the rest of it up, so the uh, NPC and all of that stuff. So the first thing we want to do is come into here and go into the starter GUI. Um, sorry, I meant the starter player here. And we want to go down to the walk speed and we want to turn that to 30. Now that's going to, um, that's going to be the right walk speed, so if I look now, it's not going to be so slow, it will be much better. Oh, I've still died because right next to me. But yeah, he, you can see that it's a lot It's a lot faster, just the walk speed, and I can also sprint here. Nice. So that's that bit done. So now, to change the FOV and um, to change it from a cursor to a dot, we want to go into Starter GUI. I want to press Add, and we want to add a local script here. Now, inside it, what you want to put is, you want to put this code in here, so local mouse equals game.players.localplayer, colon get mouse brackets, 
mouse icon equals and in here you want to put the uh, ID of a mouse icon asset now you can just copy this one for the dot one if you would like to do that that's completely fine next we want to go over here to um, start a player we want to add a new local script under here like this and then inside that we want to put this so in there you just want to put local fov equals 120 so now we can test this and it should be working let's just double check yep you can see that it's working even though we just got destroyed and you can see the cursor is a dot you see the cursor is a dot and it's working all good Oh, and just a note, you want to put this inside of the starter player scripts, not just starter player. Sorry about that. Okay, now lastly, if you want to put into that first person mode, you want to go over here to first person uh, in the toolbox and go to this one called first person lock. I'm going to add it. Um, it's over here. So I believe that we want to put this into the first person GUI. Okay, so yeah, you want to go from the uh, thing you've got you want to take that and drag it into start a GUI first person lock and that's going to lock you in first person like this nice so now if we test it now I instantly die every time because of the place that it's set up but now you can see that it's all working we can hear the footsteps we can see the thing, boom. The only thing left to do now would be to create the map. So you can do that if you'd like to. And something else I'd recommend doing is adding some like models into it. So if you add like a car, for example. Now if you add models into it, what this is gonna do is this gonna make the game a lot more fun because um, you're gonna have like more stuff to get cover behind and stuff like that. Whereas before, you know, you didn't have anything. So if I move this bot now, actually, I don't know if I can move it, to be fair. Uh, yeah, I can move it here. If I move it here, now I've got, like, a lot more cover. Um, so now if I hit play, I'm going to be able to cover behind cars and stuff like that to make it... Okay, oh my goodness, that scared me. So you like, I can get in the cars. Oh, and I died. So I'm still trash at this, but I can do that. And even now I can get in the car. <laughs> I'm in first person mode, and obviously this car's not designed for that. But still, I can get cover behind it and all that stuff. But that's how you do it. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, then be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.